Hi, this is Rachel from the Dotting Center. Today, I'm going to show you how to make these elegant mirror and rhinestone cookie cutter ornaments. With the right materials, it's almost as easy as making a batch of real cookies. Except these will be much less tasty and also a lot prettier. Well great, now that we all want cookies, let's go grab a couple and a cup of tea and let's make some more handmade ornaments. So we're going to use some DAS clay. This is the best air dry clay. I'm using cookie cutters, just standard cookie cutters and a rolling pin. And then I'm going to use a dotting tool for placing a hole in each of the ornaments so that I can string them up. You could use a straw or a pencil or whatever you've got around. You want to roll out the clay. That's step one. Just like with cookies, you roll it out probably a quarter of an inch thick. I like to roll it out thinner for smaller ornaments and thicker for larger ornaments. And then you know how to do this. You just take your cookie cutters and you just cut out some shapes, just like this. Then once all the shapes are cut out, you come in and very satisfying. This is the, the satisfying part. You just peel up all the excess and use that for another project. This stuff is amazing. And then you take your dotting tools or straw and just create a hole on the tops of each of your ornaments. This is where your ribbon or string is gonna hang. At that point, you can clean up the edges and just let them dry. Okay, so we have our cookie cutter ornaments. They have sufficiently dried Make sure that you give them a good three days just to make sure that they are all the way dry before you paint them. I have two different options here. I've got just the basic cookie cutter without any paint, and then I have the uh, cookie cutter with a little bit of uh, relief painting on the top to give it an extra design. So you can have just flat with no paint, or you can add some decorative paint before you go ahead and add your shimmery paint, which by the way, I wanted to use something that had a little bit of blue in it and usually I would go with something like this. So this is Golden Interference Red paint. It has, it gives you kind of like a, a tester where they actually swatch out the color for you so you can see the color variation on the black and the white. But this is pink and so I wanted blue and I didn't have it. I ran out of the interference blue. But I had this stuff and this will do exactly what this does. Uh, you just have to mix it yourself. So what you do is you mix this interference blue pigment with a gloss varnish and it turns into interference blue paint. It's kind of awesome and it varnishes at the same time. Now what you want to do is take a little bit of varnish and there's no, um, you know, as far as how much pigment you're supposed to use, I just use it until uh, I feel like it's a good mix. I want to use a lot but not too much. So you pour it in there and just mix it up. So that's what you're going for. So we're gonna take this star and watch what happens. So you don't even need to have a base coat. This clay is white and uh, you could put a base coat on it, but I would just paint it with white and then paint this on top of it and I don't believe that you would need any paint on top of this. This is just good to go as it is. So I will be sure to show this to you in the sunlight, but can you see how the color shifts as I move the object? Isn't that cool? So I've painted this side and not that side. You can see, see how you can see the cream color when the light is that way. But then when it's this way, you see the blue, cream, blue, 
cream. Isn't that insane? I love it. Okay. So now I'm going to get to painting all these and I will catch you on the other side. So when I painted these, I started painting the backs first. That's just in case there's any drips or anything. You want to make sure that the front is the very last side that you paint and then let that dry. And now you're ready to add some mirrors and crystals. So here it is all dried. It's got a couple of coats of paint, the front and the back. So now we get to play with some mirrors and crystals and I'm using this B7000 glue. I haven't tried it yet, uh, but it looks promising. And then we're gonna use these diamond shaped mirrors and some rhinestones. All right, let's get to designing. And then I've already pre-designed this one, but I wanna show you kind of what you do. You take your mirrors and you just place them on your object and just, you can find so many creative ways to place uh, these mirrors and really you just want some kind of pleasing design. Just move these things around, see what looks good. Uh, I found that this cute little star shaped fit within the tree shape and I loved the way that looked. And then these crystals just kind of fit perfectly in those spaces. Aren't those pretty? So you see why I used that interference blue paint. It has blues and pinks and creams, kind of the same colors that are reflected in those crystals. I liked the way this design looked and so I decided to go with this. Now that we have our mirrors and our rhinestones all placed, let's go ahead and glue that down. Now I'm trying out a new glue and I think I was really just taken by the tagline, which is like, <laughs> we gotta take a minute here. It is a surprise adhesive force. This was a great adhesive. Best selling Europe and America, mad fans around the world. Well, I don't, I just, I can't argue with that. If there are mad fans of this glue all around the world, I got to check it out. So I'm going to try it and I'll let you know how it holds up. I will tell you it, the fans might be mad from the smell. <sighs> it does have an odor. So if you are uh, sensitive to that kind of thing, you might want to crack a window or do it outside. It's got a real chemical smell and I'm not uh, I don't really like that but I managed to have the window open and it wasn't too terrible but I just if you are sensitive to that just know that this this has that chemical odor to it so but you just need a little bit it kind of acts like silicone yeah it's like sticky and it has see that that little like spider web looking trail that comes off, it's that kind of glue. But I have no doubt that this is gonna hold up. It feels real heavy duty. So now you just wanna go about gluing this stuff down, making sure everything is aligned. You do have some wiggle room. It doesn't dry immediately, so you can push these things around and make sure that they're exactly in the right place before you let it dry. So here are some of the ornaments that I made. I just love designing with crystals and mirrors and I found this project to be so satisfying and girly and delicate and just absolutely awesome. It just ticked all the boxes for me and I really enjoyed it. So these are Un, you know, they're still dirty. You can see the mirrors have some of the wax from the wax pencil and some of the glue residue. So at this point, what you want to do is just shine those puppies up. So you can see those mirrors and crystals really are stuck on there. It doesn't look like there's any give. It, it really was a surprise adhesive force and it was a great adhesive. So then once they're all polished, the final step is you want to add some ribbon for a pretty bow to hang it up on the tree. So 
An alternative to a ribbon, I'll show you how I tied it on, but you might want to use chain. I think that one of the things that makes these ornaments really fun on the tree is the reflective nature of those mirrors. When they spin, it really looks cool. So I think I'm going to try chain in some form so that they have a movement to them. But here's how you would add the ribbon, and that is ready to go. What do you well, there it is. So cute. What do you think? I hope you all loved this video. If you did, please do a girl a favor. Hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. And as always, you can visit me over at thedottingcenter.com for any of your dot art supply needs. Which, by the way, we will get back to dots next week. Next week, there will be dots. I promise you. I know I've had a little bit of a foray into other worlds here with the crystals, but yeah. We, we all know what we want. We want dots next week.